guys, what is up? It is Kanaka back here and welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to build this fountain here. Um, one of my friends actually requested this. Um, I'll leave his channel at the end of the video, at the uh, end screen that they recent, which YouTube actually recently added. So that's really cool. Um, but he wanted me to make this fountain and his name is Jack Crafts. Um, he's a really good friend, so I'll leave his channel at the end of the video, so you should go check him out and go subscribe to him. But he wanted me to make this fountain here, um, do a tutorial, so I'm actually going to just do it right over here. Um, so, first thing you want to do is you want to get some materials, so maybe some stone and some cobblestone, and we can probably start off uh, with that. So. What you want to do is you kind of want to make a mountain, and it doesn't have to be exactly like the one over there. The more it's randomized, the better it is. So, um, we'll kind of start off with like a, uh, the, something like that maybe. That looks good. And you're going to kind of just add some bits and bobs, just kind of here and there. Maybe even one more there. And it'll just kind of look random. You don't want it to be the same thing. I'm going to build out a stone first, and then I'm going to go back later and um, add some cobblestone and more details. And then you just kind of want to bring it up to different levels, um, kind of like so. And then we'll even do some more in the back there, and maybe even there. So just kind of randomize it, make it look natural, um, especially in the back too. Um, you know, kind of get some randomness in the, uh, in the back. Um, we might bring this up a little ways and maybe bring this up and that up a few blocks. So kind of like this, even though it's really not the best. Um, you kind of want it to be like steep, kind of, sort of. So, uh, we'll kind of add some bits and bobs kind of just make it random the bet the more the random it is the more random it is the better it'll look so you, you know you don't want to do too crazy you know just keep it nice and simple rather simple and then in the back will probably be the tallest point of the mountain type thing um, if you actually have a mountain in your world that's probably even better um, because it, it's already natural. See, I may have, you know, kind of overdone it here. So, you know, just make it natural. Make it look nice. Make it look awesome. Um, you know, just kind of chop some parts off if you need to. Um, and then we're going to start making the shape of the, um, of the pond. So we can go ahead and go for like a little circle here. Um... go ahead kind of overdid it here so let's go ahead and and then this could be surrounded with some stone and then uh, this will just kind of go all the way around the shape of your pond so like that we have a nice pond it's not symmetrical but as I said the more cement or the 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 more natural it is the uh, the better it looks. So you want to go for more natural looks. Um, as I said, if you actually do have a mountain, like in your world, I mean that's really kind of the easiest way to go. Because I mean you already have the terraforming, you know, set up for you. So honestly, that's probably the best way to go. And then uh, where this uh, stone meets the ground, there's some extra dirt. You might just want to fill that in with. Uh, with um, some uh, stone or whatever block you're using and then we're gonna fill in the ground here and then after we fill in the ground we can go ahead and uh, start filling it in with water and then once we get done with the water we can then add some flowers or whatever around it um, if you're doing this like in a park area I mean um, you know like in a, like like if you're building a park and you wanted to build like a fountain like this um, you know, you could probably add some flowers and benches and trees and stuff like that. Um, not gonna go too crazy with the flowers though, because as I said, you know, this is not gonna permanently be here. We're still in the same world, so it'd be weird having a fountain in the middle of a neighborhood, you know. Uh, 
well, street, I guess, because the street will go, like, right here, and then there will be houses here, so, you know, it'll be kind of, uh, weird having a, uh, random fountain in the middle, in the middle of a, middle of a house. Um, so then, once you have kind of your foundation done, your pond done, uh, whatever, uh, you can then start adding some glowstone, and I know, uh, you know, like, Jack Crafts, um, wanted me to do this, and, you know, he has to go to the nether and stuff, because he's on survival a lot of the time, so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, fill this in with water, but as I was saying, Jack Crafts, um, he does a lot of, uh, survival, so it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult for him to get glowstone, um, unless he has, like, a, like a, like a way to get to, like, a big area of glowstone, but, um, you know, whatever materials he has could work, I mean, sea lanterns can work, honestly, you could probably end up putting, like, glass, like, I can show you here, you could probably end up putting, like, a torch, and then, oh, well, hold on a second, it's a little more difficult than I thought it would be, because I have to get, okay, so, if I do this quick enough, dang it, Boink. So, oh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> Dang it. But, you know, you could, you could probably find a way, but you can end up putting, um, like a torch with glass, which is probably the easiest way to go. So you could probably end up doing that too, but, um, for now I'm just going to stick with glowstone because I am in creative. Uh, so we'll go ahead and fill that back in there. Um, and then we can grab some cobblestone and some just random materials. Um, maybe some uh, mossy stone bricks could probably work and some buttons could probably work. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of mix this um, fountain in with some uh, different blocks like so. So, you know, I'm kind of getting there, and then, uh, we'll go ahead and go with some cobblestone. Over here, I went with some, um, buttons and cobblestone, um, and regular stone mix. Um, but, I mean, you could really do whatever blocks you want. You don't have to do a, uh, cobblestone stone mix. Whatever you want to do is fine. And we'll go ahead and add some mossy cobblestone just to get that little, you know, like old water fountain theme kind of going here. So we could probably go like that, probably add one down here, maybe add one down here too. So, you know, looks real good. And then, um, every once in a while you could probably end up adding some pressure plates. If you do not want to hear a constant, like, click, 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 click then I would not go with the uh, pressure plates. They sometimes bother me, bother me, but, um, you know, I don't really care about it that much. Um, and we're going to add a couple buttons here and there. Uh, just here and there. I don't know if you can place buttons on the ground on Pocket Edition, which is what uh, Jack Crafts is doing. So, um, for that, I think that's pretty good. I'm actually going to have to delete that, because then we can add our nice little fountain. And then uh, here and there you could probably end up, uh, you know, adding some more. Kind of like that. Uh, maybe one more right there if you really wanted to. You know, just kind of add until you get comfortable with the looks of things. And uh, I think that's fine. And then um, what you could do is in the back of your fountain you can secretly add some glowstone. Um, to give it that final lighting. Like here you can add glowstone. Probably, no, not there. Probably can't do one there. There you could, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you could add one there. You know, just kind of, you know, mix and match. Make it look, you know, good to the point where it'll light up the back. And then, you know, you can add some flowers if you wanted to. Just, you know, around the pond. But, um, this is it. This is the tutorial. I mean, it's really simple. It'll take, like, just, like, five minutes. Five to ten minutes. And then you got an awesome-looking fountain. Obviously, over here, it's a little bit smaller than that one. Um, you know, I added some, you know, leaves and lily pads and stuff like that in it. Um, but for the main part, it's, it's pretty much done. I mean, it's very simple, very easy. And it looks really good too. 
And so this is what it'll look like at night time. So it looks nicely lit up. And then in the back, you got some nice uh, glowstone that's hidden away. And it looks really nice. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, uh, Jackcrafts, for the idea of the tutorial. There you go. I hope you enjoy. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, definitely hit that like button. And um, please subscribe, as always, because that gives me a lot of support. Um, and, it can, and it makes me want to continue these videos. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the video. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys.